All right. Um, good afternoon, Lennox. You are welcome to uh, today's lesson. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, sources of energy. Uh, your presenter is uh, Mr. Said Razak, and then you are warmly welcome. All right, so our table of content will be in the form of this. So it's just going to be an overview, then uh, our topic, then we will do an assignment or an assessment. And then after we will talk about the, the top, uh, the lesson or for today's lesson or tomorrow's lesson. All right, so today we are going to be looking at sources of energy and our subtopic is going to be renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Uh, our lesson objectives. So by the end of the lesson, uh, it is expected that you are will be explain what is needed to make. Energy sources are used, and then we should be able to also what define uh, non-renewable sources of energy. All right, now introduction. So this uh, topic is not a new topic. As you remember very well in grade six, you were introduced to sources of energy and the concept of renewable uh, and non-renewable sources of energy was introduced to you in grade six. Uh, do you still remember any of the terms that you did? And if you do, what, uh, what were you told about fossil fuels or what is just a fossil fuel? Okay, all right. So if you remember well, this was the definition. Uh, fossil fuels are fuels or substances that are formed in the earth from dead plants and what animal remains. I hope you do remember that. All right, so we're just going to move a, a step uh, from that. All right, now sources of energy. All living things need energy. Anything that is living on this planet Earth needs energy to function. All right. The sun is the main source of energy for all living things. The sun, uh, the sun rays come down millions of miles away from the skies. And then living things need that source of energy either to function or to produce or to move or whatever. The energy from the sun allows plants to grow and produce food. I hope you remember that through photosynthesis. Living things also need energy stored in food to breathe and carry out daily activities. And I hope you remember the, 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 the seven life processes. Okay. People also use machines that need energy in order to work at school or at the shops or at station or wherever you find machines, they need energy to also work or operate. Uh, can store substances and organisms. And these type of energy are called what? Energy sources. What is an energy source? Uh, energy that's stored in substances. Or even if they are organisms, they are what? Energy sources. Okay, examples of substances that, are, that store energy are, we can talk of the oil, we can talk of coal, we can talk of natural gas, we can talk of nuclear fuel, we can talk of wind, we can talk of water, in bracket hydropower, we can, talk, we can talk of sunlight, we can also talk about biofuel, in bracket wood. The energy from energy sources can be used to make something happen, for example, Natural gas is used for what? Cooking and for lighting. Oh. Now, let's look at the definition of energy sources. What is energy source? Energy source, as we uh, uh, just saw from the previous slide, are substances or organisms that store what? Energy. This energy can be used to make something happen. All right. So if we talk of the coal, and we talk of natural gas, they are all what examples of what fossil fuels. All right, let's look at some formation of energy sources and their uses. Fossil fuels are formed in the earth from plants and animal remains. 
and died some time ago. So he um, like uh, uh, in Asia or Middle East, those countries that have high uh, uh, quantity or large quantity of uh, oil, crude oil, see, then they can mine them and then they get a lot of energy. Okay, but they, they, they drill them from underground, the earth, from the underground. And let's look at nuclear fuels. How are they formed? Nuclear fuels are formed when the nucleus of an atom is broken apart and releases huge amount of energy. You remember we were talking about uh, the atom, the structure of the atom. We spoke about the nucleus, which contains the protons and then the neutrons, and we have the electrons surrounding uh, it. All right. Now we'll, we'll let's look at biofuel. Remember, biofuel can be wood, any living, anything, anything that is living, and then you can use it to get fuel is a biofuel. A typical example is wood. All right. Biofuel is a fuel that is produced from what animal or plant waste, like maize, sugar cane, and sorghum. Let's look at the crude oil. Okay, crude oil is used to produce petrol and diesel, which are mainly used to add fuel cars, buses, and other vehicles. Um, biofuel can be used in vehicles or cooling and heating systems. Wood is, a, is an example of a biofuel and is banned for cooking, heating, and lightning. So you see that these days, um, because it's winter now, you will find uh, uh, most people at the villages uh, or even in townships trying to use the firewood to burn so that they can stay warm. Okay, a gas stove uses natural gas for what? Cooking. So sources of any examples of some formation and then sources of what? Some of the energy sources. So don't forget, energy sources are substances or organisms that stores what? Energy. And this energy that is stored is capable of making things to happen. All right, now let's look at renewable and non-renewable energy. Okay, sources of energy that cannot be reused or replaced once they have been used up are called what? Non-renewable sources of energy. So if you have got something that you have used and that's it, you cannot reuse it or you cannot replace it, then is non-renewable. It means you cannot renew it again. All right. Now let's look at point two, fossil fuel. And this fossil fuel, uh, the, when you're talking about coal, you said fossil fuel. Oil and natural gas. You remember I was giving an example in Asia or Middle East. You know, there are some of the countries there that have got huge or large reserves of fossil fuels. So that's why uh, we have got oil and natural gases. Now in South Africa here also, we have got coal. So if you travel to places like Sasselberg, Middleberg, Midbank, you see we have got mining industry, there are coal mining industries that are doing this. So uh, examples of what? Non-renewable sources of energy. So what it means is that uh, if the, the, the food for coal is exhausted, you cannot replace it or you cannot renew it. Hence, it's what? Uh, Non-renewable. Now we look at nuclear energy. We said it's produced using the word the nucleus of an atom. So here they use uranium. You remember uranium is a type of uh, element on the periodic table. Now this one is not a fossil fuel, but it's a now what? Renewable sources of energy. Okay, sources of energy that can be reused or replaced and never run out are called what? Renewable sources of energy. Now example, in the end we get from the sun uh, is renewable. It's, it's, it's always it's more special these days. It's even increasing because of uh, because of the impact because the activities of humans that impact on the planet Earth. All right, hydropower. Hydropower simply talks about what using water to generate what electricity or power. So how we Biofuels are a source of what? Renewable sources of energy. So there will, there will always be wind, sunlight, plants, and 
to the water. These ones can't be renewed. All right. Now let's look at uh, energy sources. So there is a very uh, a good pictures here uh, showing uh, the different sources of energy. So from my file lab, we have the natural gas. Uh, it's used for burning stuff, as you can see. We have oil and oil rig things they drill into the ocean floor to reach the oil deposit. Then the, the third one, you can see the sun. The sun is the what? The sunlight. The sun is a source of energy. Now we can look at what biofuel. Uh, biofuel is manure that decomposes to produce what? Methane. And this methane can then be sold to people so that they can even use it for cooking at home. Then we can see the wood or firewood is also used for what? To heat or to cook for people or for the family. Now we can also see coal. You can see that the black diamond. Now we also have what wind. So wind turns this windmill to either generate uh, energy. Then we have got uranium. You see how uranium is mining from underground. So they have to mine it from the underground, and they can then put it in a nuclear reactor. Then this can produce what energy. All right, or even electricity. Now let's look at hydropower, a large hydroelectric power station. So you look at that. So the water there is, is the, the water there turns the turbines of what this hydropower so as to what generate electricity that is what transferred to the population. All right. Now let's look at uh, our sources of energy. Or oh, we have just also looked at. Uh, now, um, uh, they are very simple, but I'm just going to open the chat room. If, if uh, there is someone who uh, didn't get uh, my explanation, I can go back uh, before we come back to the assessment. So I'm just going to open up uh, the chat. So send in your questions. And then before we continue, all right. Hello, guys. I'm asking you questions. Do you have any questions, or else we go back for to do the the, the questions that you on your screen. Hello, guys. Are you listening? Okay, so what we are going to do now is um, you have got uh, something on the screen. I've basically explained uh, sources of energy, classifications of energy, definitions of the various sources of energy. So now it's your turn to also talk, but you have to talk by answering. Uh, these questions. So, number one says refer to the figure and fig one and classify those energy sources into what? Renewable and non renewable. So, I can quickly go move back so that we can see. Number two, what do we mean when we say that something is renewable or non renewable? Explain this in your own way. Now, why do you think that we mostly use non-renewable energy sources? And what is the definition of energy source? And what is the main, question five, what is the main source of energy in South Africa? And question six, is this statement true or false? Coal, natural gas, and wind are examples of what? For self-work. So here you just need to either write true or false. Seven, which energy source allows a petrol car to move. Okay, so for now, this is your job for you, but I have to go back again and open so that we can ask questions. Otherwise, if you are clear, we proceed to the assessment.
Hello, guys. All right, let's do the the the, uh, uh, the assessment then. Okay, so you do number one, your answer. Number two, your answer. Three, then after we look, we do the corrections. Okay. Table. So, guys, I'm waiting for you. Okay, so let's co let's continue with the uh, assessment. All right, guys. So let's get let's get uh, on to the assessment. So try to uh, answer these questions. All right. Are you guys there? Okay, then let's answer the questions then. I can see that you guys are not responding. Junior, I'm trying to reply to your question, but when I click, I don't get it right. Mark. Let's get busy with the okay. Yeah, question two, uh, Gumbi. Question two is talking about um, renewable. or non-renewable. So they say, what do we mean when they say something is renewable or non-renewable? So if something is renewable, what does that mean? So you, if you are, not, you are taking a renewable, then you explain it in your own way. Or if you are explaining the non-renewable, you explain it in your own way. So you pick one of them, but you explain it in your own way. 
That's what question two is about. What do we mean when we say that something is non-renewable or renewable? Explain this in your own words. I hope you, you, you are clear now. Okay. All right, then uh, Gumbi, then please carry on. Yes, we are answering the questions you are seeing on your slides. Molehi, we are answering the questions that you are seeing on your your screen right now. Yeah, I've not seen, okay. You are, you are busy typing all of them, then you will post or you are going to do one by one. Because I can't see any answer coming through here, guys. We are answering now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can see do Angelina's answer. Yeah. Okay. So keep the answers coming. I can see some people are getting um, question two. But if you want to see question one, we can go back to the diagram. All right, so let me go back to the diagram. Oh, guys, sorry. Let me just go back to the diagram. All right, uh, this is the diagram that says you must refer to these and then classify them as either renewable or non-renewable. Yes. So, uh, Junior asked the question, I was trying to answer you through the text, but when I click, you were not active, or I was finding it difficult to do it, uh, to click and respond to you. But if you answer it when we are doing the corrections, then you will know where code will be classified. All right. So, you just, you try to create a table in a tabular form, uh, you write one side, uh, renewable on another side, non-renewable, then you will place them. If let's say, for example, oil is non-renewable, then you will write it under non-renewable. Or even if you cannot create a table, 
you just write renewable and then you you are looking at the sources of energy then you classify if non-renewable you do the same thing so that uh, maybe if the system is not allowing you cannot create a table you just write renewable then you look at them those ones that fall under renewable you write then you look at non-renewable those ones that fall under non-renewable you write also that's what i'm talking about okay All right, so, and I hope, so you can take a shot of it, or you can quickly do that so that we go to the next questions. All right, let me see if somebody having a question to ask. You see the table now? Do you see the table? Okay, so yeah, write renewable, and if wood is renewable, as we're saying, you write it. If you go to oil or natural gas, if it is also renewable, you write just like that. Mm. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Then the next minute, I'm going to. Uh, move away from this diagram. I'm sure by now you are okay, so that we can go. We can see the the the, the other questions there. Okay. All right. I'm sure you are now. You are you are fine. So I'm going to. I'm going back to the questions so that we can finish them up. All right. All right. So I'm back to the questions now. So let's continue. Yeah. Yeah, Junior. Um, Molly, Mo, Mo, Mo he said he was not see, she was, he or she was not seeing the, um, the 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 table. So I moved back to the slide that contains the the figure so that you can uh, see it well, and then um, you will be able to classify those sources of energy into either renewable and non-renewable. So that's what I was saying. Okay. But I hope you get me right now. Okay. If you have any challenge, you can ask, uh, you can ask here also. All right. Yeah, welcome.
All right. I'm sure you are, you, are, you guys are getting finished with the question the, with the question. All right, so the next minute we are going to, in a, in a minute or two, we're going to do the corrections so that we can check uh, whether you're getting what uh, you can get that this concept of source of energy. Okay. But however, let's continue to push. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I can see that we are doing well. Now let's go to the time is almost getting. Okay. Now, uh, so let's quickly check uh, the corrections so that you can mark for yourself. All right, this is what we have now. The question, the figure, the question was saying we should refer to figure one and classify those energy sources into what the renewable and non-renewable sources. So as we can see, on the table there are renewable energy sources, the wind, the sunlight, the wood, the hydropower, and the biofuel. And then we also talk about what? Non-renewable. So coal, gas, natural, uh, natural gas, I mean, oil, and then what? Uranium. So I hope uh, you will get it now. Uh, Junior, you were asking whether coal is what? Um, is a is 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 non-renewable or was it renewable? So for now you can see. Yeah, you see that if you go to mid somewhere in Middleburg or Whitburn, there are some of the coal mining that they have left, and then they are now working at other places. So what it means is that they, as they continue to mine the place, the coal deposit will get depleted, and when they get depleted, they have to go to an, a new site. So what it means is that it that the coal cannot be what planted again. So you see, so uh, it means it has depleted. So it's what non-renewable. It cannot reinvent or uh, bring itself back. Okay. Let's go to question two. Question two was saying, what do we mean when we say that something is renewable or non-renewable. Explain this in your own way. Okay, now renewable energy sources can be what? Use again or recycle or use again. There is an unlimited supply of the energy source. Non-renewable sources cannot be again or recycled, cannot be reused or cannot be used again or recycle. There is a limited supply of upper. There is a limited supply of the energy source. Okay, so uh, what we wanted you to say or, or what we wanted you to do was to try to explain in your own way. When they say something is renewable, it means it can be reused or replaced. And when something can, is non-renewable, it means uh, that source of energy cannot be used again or recycled. When you are done using it, you are done with that. Okay. So uh, this non-renewable, there is a limited supply of the energy. Okay. Now let's go to question three. Why do you think we mostly use non-renewable sources of energy? 
non-renewable energy sources usually have a large amount of energy. Okay, I hope you guys are there. What do you think we mostly use non-renewable energy sources? Non-renewable energy sources usually have a large amount of energy stored in them, and the energy is easier to harness than that of what? Renewable sources. Okay, let's go to question four. This. What is the definition of an energy source? So you remember our first slide, we were talking about what? Energy source, substances, or organisms that store energy. Is what? An energy source. Now let's go to five. What is the main source of energy in the in the energy sector in what South Africa? What is the main source of energy in South Africa? So take note. So here we're talking about what? Cold. And question six is saying, is this statement true or false? Cold, natural gas, and wind are what examples of fossil fuels. All right, so take note. Which energy source allows a petrol car to work? All right, so I hope you got some of the answers right. Now, let's look at the, uh, uh, if you have a question, you posted it before. Okay. If you have any question you can ask before we move to the next. All right. Now let's go on to uh, the summary. So we have been talking about what energy, and we said energy is one of the requirements for life on Earth. Energy is needed to make things work. So Source of energy have energy stored within them that is used for making something happen. So energy is also needed to make things happen. All right. So we say non-renewable energy sources cannot be recycled or reused. So these ones are limited. In supply. So when and if you chose renewable sources, you can say they are renewable sources of energy are sources that can be what recycled or reused. And then the opposite of none in, uh, this one, then what it means is that there is no limit supply. Okay. All right, we also spoke about what? Examples of non-renewable energy sources, which are what? Fossil fuels, then we're talking about coal, we're talking about natural gas, and then what? Nuclear fuels. We, are also, we also looked at what? Burning fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels. Okay. All right, now let's go on. Renewable energy sources can also be recycled or reused. There is a time limit for all this. So but when we, for when we are talking about non-renewable, then it means there is a time limit. But when we are talking of renewable energy, then it means time limit is not affected by anything. It's unlimited. Now, examples of uh, renewable energy sources are the wind we are talking about previously. We talk of the hydropower, and then we also, we talk about solar power, then wind, and then what? Biofuels. All right. Now, there is a mind map that will help you to consolidate what we have been talking about. So, we're looking at sources of energy. So, we're saying sources of energy have what? Stored energy. And because they have got stored energy, it makes things, make things move or what leave. Now we have got two sources. We have got renewable, we have got non-renewable. Renewable sources, yeah, we are talking of what? We are talking of 
the biofuels, we're talking of the what, the lizards. We're also talking about what? The, um, come on. What am I seeing here? Okay. We're looking at uh, uh, such as the wind, the hydropower, sunlight, and biofuels. Then we're talking about what? They can be replenished. Replenished means they can be replaced. Then when we look at sources of energy, we can see that uh, they are also non-renewable, cannot be replenished. Uh, so uh, examples of non-renewable fossil fuels, fossil fuels, an example, we can talk of the coal, we can talk of the oil, we can talk of the natural gas. We can also use um, uranium. So coal is what? A non renewable. So if you are staying close to where there is a coal mine, uh, after some time, if the coal deposit is exhausted, they leave it like that and then they go to another place because it cannot be replaced or be replenished. So it's done and dusted. Okay, but if it is something like hydropower, hydropower means they are using water to generate electricity, using very big turbines. So what happens is that it can generate water. Yes, but so as far as we have got water, rainfall always pouring down, then, is what renewable okay all right so i don't know whether you have got some questions here so <laughs> uh, Gumbi, yeah we, 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 but we have got different categories junior is saying wood burns into coal when <laughs> turn into coal when bent that is not the kind of coal we're talking about we have got charcoal, and when wood, when wood burns into coal, we call it a charcoal. But that one is, is slightly different in characteristics compared to the one that they, they get from the, uh, from the soil. Okay, so um, tomorrow we shall be meeting again. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and then uh, see you tomorrow if you have any questions. Uh, you let me know or otherwise we meet tomorrow and then see you tomorrow. Bye.